I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and Fintech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Ian Alexander, the head of BizDev for GoChain Blockchain Project. Ian, welcome to the show. It's great to see you again, and thanks for taking the time to be here. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. I'd love to kick off the interview by getting an explanation for those who aren't familiar with GoChain on what exactly is the GoChain project and how are you providing enterprise blockchain solutions specifically right now? Yeah, that's a great question. So GoChain actually started out as a blockchain consulting company and protocol. And so we've really evolved over the past two years to be enterprise focused. And so what we're doing is we've built in an established team of business professionals, technology professionals, engineers, uh, to be succinct, that, uh, that are really delivering the right solutions to the enterprise market uh, for blockchain services as they're needed. So mm -hmm. everything across the board from supply chain to uh, um, digital identity. And we're really focused on, on meeting the market where it stands. So mm -hmm. that's really the biggest differentiator about GoChain is that uh, instead of just being a, a blockchain company that creates a solution and puts it out in the marketplace for others to use, uh, we're actively managing this. We run GoChain. GoChain is a startup and we're mm -hmm. releasing products and services for the enterprise space, for the mid-market uh, level companies to uh, to use directly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it seems like your team has found found your focus, right, on what's important. And you know, to dive deep into the enterprise side, I'm curious, you know, what's your opinion on how important is the early adoption for enterprises of blockchain technology for the global adoption of blockchain as a whole? Yeah, so that's a great question. I think we're still somewhat in the early days. I would say, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is a lot of people are dipping the toe in the water and uh, have expressed interest in blockchain. I really haven't come across one enterprise company that hasn't explored blockchain mm -hmm. as a solution to, to solve a multitude mm -hmm. of problems. And, um, and so we're, we're really at that key moment here where it's, this is going to be the deciding factor. The marketplace mm -hmm. is going to dictate who survives and what solutions are truly applicable to the mm -hmm. enterprise level and truly scalable. And so that's what we're trying to do again is meet the market where it stands and and cater to their needs. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great to hear that you know you haven't heard of one enterprise uh, that ha isn't really experimenting with blockchain. And I have seen a lot of these enterprise alliances with hundreds and hundreds of small to medium sized enterprises and large corporations all getting interested in the technology now. So you know I, I feel like maybe we are at that turning point, and uh, and a lot of things are happening in 2020 here. And I'd like to know with GoChain, you know, what's happened so far with 2020, uh, with the economic pandemic and COVID-19, has, have you seen uh, more interest from enterprises to start adopting or has there been any effect from, from the pandemic? Yeah, that's another great question. I would say, you know, early on we were, it was really touch and go. And uh, I think everybody was just kind of playing it by ear and trying to figure out what, how this was going to shake out with COVID. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, interestingly enough, I think it's really actually accelerated a lot of the technological developments and interest level in blockchain specifically. Um, so when we're talking about uh, data transparency, sustainable supply chains, mm -hmm. um, personal identity as well and protecting that identity, whether you're working from home or you're a government institution or um, a, a school and education provider, there's, there's really a multitude of things that we've seen come to light in the middle of COVID, surprisingly, mm -hmm. as a market opportunity. Yeah, and we're going to dive into that because I know that on the supply chain side, your team's really been focused on that. And you are actually actively helping uh, with certain situations in the pandemic, which is helping people directly right now. So it's great to see that blockchain you know, is actually being put to use and, and providing help for people when they need it. But before we get to that, I have a quick question about you know, the infrastructure of GoChain and what allows it to be used by enterprises so easily and at scale, more importantly, because a lot of the major blockchains like Bitcoin and Ethereum, there's the discussion of scaling issues and how are we going to get this to thousands and tens of thousands of transactions so that enterprises, especially supply chain, can run smoothly with millions of 
transactions potentially going on per day. You know, GoChain has been able to get past those scalability limitations of those two major networks. Can you touch a little bit on you know, how have you done things differently and is it enough what you're doing now to support all of these enterprises moving forward? Yeah, that's that's a really, really good point. Um, and that's that's always kind of been one of the one of the main factors about GoChain, one of the differentiators again, and one of the reasons why our CTO and co-founder came up with the idea and the concept of implementing GoChain, of creating GoChain, was to solve a lot of the scalability problems mm -hmm. and uh, high transaction costs, energy inefficiency that's uh, that plagues Bitcoin and Ethereum, and and so that's that's really where that's the that's the core of the solution mm -hmm. at a technical level that we've provided from day one. And what that comes back to is, I mean, if you ask our CTO and co-founder, Travis Reeder, again, he would tell you that when he first forked the Ethereum code base and started rewriting it, he made mm -hmm. a million little changes mm -hmm. that optimized it for speed and performance. And that's true. Along with that, we have a different consensus mechanism uh, that's called proof of reputation. It's mm -hmm. similar to proof of authority. But instead of direct uh, individuals running nodes, um, our consortium of node signers are actually enterprise companies, mm -hmm. private companies. And uh, we also have several nonprofits, including Conservation International, um, a company called Fins Attached that specializes in shark water restoration around the world and does marine biology research. Um, so that's, that's really what it comes back to is, is both the optimized code base and then the network that we've created. So what that allows us to do is actually scale at a level that uh, where we can run 100 times the throughput of Ethereum, for example. We can mm -hmm. handle 1,300 transactions per second. Our fee structure is considerably less at uh, nearly one, uh, one one hundredth of the, uh, I'm sorry, actually one ten thousandth of the cost mm -hmm. per transaction. So um, it, even actually less than that, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the, uh, the actual number, but it's one ten thousandth of a penny per wow. transaction. So um, it magnitude is order of magnitudes less. Mm -hmm. And then along with that, uh, even the energy efficiency, um, you know, due to the actual efficiency of the network, we can, uh, we actually use one one hundredth the amount of energy mm -hmm. as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Which is one of the biggest drawbacks. Uh, I, you know, I think you can actually, uh, statistically, you can run yeah. a single-family home on the amount of uh, electricity that uh, that's used to power the Ethereum network per day. So per node. Wow. Yeah. And that's, uh, you know, sustainability is something I want to touch on later because that's very important moving forward, especially when you get to scale. Uh, but yeah. you know, now that you have that scalability, and it's great that you also have enterprises that are helping validate the network you know, in a diverse, diversified way. Uh, one of the initiatives that you've been working on now that you have this scale is the supply chain uh, networks and the GoTrace platform, which is an initiative that I saw GoChain came out with earlier this year. And that's been helping with the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, can you talk a little bit about you know, how exactly are you utilizing supply chain and, and how are you helping these people in need? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're doing is, uh, and, and you're correct, we actually just recently launched uh, the, Go the GoTrace platform. And so what that allows us to do is, is provide a turnkey SaaS solution to the enterprise level, to even individual users, whether they're farms or fisheries or a, a small business even, um, and, and be able to use that system, the GoTrace platform, to be succinct. Uh, as, a, as an end-to-end -end supply chain track and trace platform. So what that provides is transparency, validation of the network, so you're not mm -hmm. using a blind supply chain. You can actually see every step of the supply chain in real time, mm -hmm. and you can access that data from a mobile device. Um, you send alerts from the actual location, the GPS location of all of your shipments and your tracking. And, and again, what that comes back to, to answer your point more directly, is... Uh, around sustainability is actually efficiency. Mm -hmm. So instead of having major losses, you can actually mitigate losses and prevent that. You can increase ROI and uh, you can find those inefficient levels of your supply chain that are actually energy consumptive mm -hmm. or excessive, require excessive amounts of energy and, uh, and even, even structure your supply chain so it's, it's functionally more efficient and effective at that level as well. Mm -hmm. Wow. 
Well, that's really interesting, um, especially in the time of need to come to action right, right when you need it. But of course, right. there's so many other uh, supply chains, you know, with every industry of products, uh, supply chains going on all over the world. Um, but it's great to see that you're actually helping people in, in need right now and uh, that you're continuing to do that. Um, can we talk a little bit about the future? You know, what lies in the future for GoChain in terms of you know, maybe in the next six to 12 months? Um, you're, I know you've released the GoTrace platform. You're continuing to work on supply chain. Do you have some big things in the pipeline which uh, the team is working towards right now? Yeah, that's uh, that's a good question. So we're really this is this is a new initiative, and we do have some big plans. Um, what we're trying to do is again is is meet the market opportunity where it stands. Mm -hmm. uh, supply chain is a huge issue. To your point earlier, that's something that's really come to light uh, in the middle of COVID. Uh, supply chain is changing, whether it's logistics, whether it's um, ethical supply chain, mm -hmm. and validating that level of transparency. And so we're working with a number of different partners already and uh, different users and clients. And uh, one, one notable example I would point to is uh, what we're doing with Two Hands. And actually Two Hands is a lobster fishery uh, startup out of Australia. And so what they've done is created a proprietary tagging solution for lobsters that are fresh caught, day of catch, flown directly to Beijing or a variety of places in, in Southeast Asia mm -hmm. to uh, high-end hotels, including the Waldorf Astoria. And um, what GoTrace allows them to do, again, is validate that entire supply chain network, uh, creating that immutable and transparent ledger all the way down to the end consumer. So not only just the supply chain network or the end recipient, uh, in this case being a restaurant, but actually the end customer who sits down. And the, the convenient thing and why I love the two hands example so much is that when the lobster is plated, it's actually still plated with that QR code tag on one of the claws. Oh, wow. And so what we've done with the GoTrace platform is provided a public instance where anybody can scan that QR code and actually pull up the ledger that shows the, mm -hmm. the supply chain data history and, uh, and record in real time of, uh, or the historical record in that case, yeah. where they can look at that and see to themselves, wow, this, was, this lobster was caught two hours ago yeah. or four hours ago um, at this location, and it was brought onto the dock, and here it is on the plate in front of me. And, um, and that's why it's, uh, it's such a, a premium, premium product. Yeah. So. Well, that is super cool. And I know there's so many people that, you know, they're just, they go to a restaurant and they have no idea where their meat or where their food is from or how old it is. But to be able to just scan it right then and there is, is just the next level. So that is a really cool initiative, Ian. Um, you know, we're running out of time, but if there are other enterprises that are looking at uh, blockchain solutions and they want to speak with you, or there's more people that are looking to get involved with the GoChain community, what's the best way for them to learn more information and to reach out? Yeah, absolutely. So the best thing to do is uh, to learn more about GoTrace uh, directly or GoChain is to go to our website, gochain.io. And uh, we do have a, a page dedicated to GoTrace specifically. Um, anybody can sign up for a trial of GoTrace uh, for 30 days, uh, whether you're an enterprise or direct user, small family farm, small business, um, everything across the board from parts tracking to uh, anti-counterfeiting in fashion, agriculture, fisheries, as I mentioned with the example mm -hmm. of two hands. Anybody can benefit from this that's, uh, that's operating in the supply chain space. And we encourage you to at least explore the solution, sign up for a trial, and then, of course, reach out to us directly if you have any questions. And uh, we're always more than happy to help. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ian. I will leave those links in the description box below for the viewers. That's all the time that we have for the interview. I appreciate you coming on the show. All the best with GoChain moving forward. And let's follow up in the near future. Absolutely. Thank you for the time.